Hey guys, so the rest of this week we are going to be basically concentrating on multiplication. Whether it is the area model or the traditional algorithm, we are going to be working on it solid because if you can't do the multiplication, then everything past this point is going to be very difficult because it all relies on multiplication. So, for first assignment for Tuesday is area model. Now, most, like, from what I saw when you turned in your area models on the assignment for last week, most of you know pretty well what you're doing. And I hope you liked how it had it set up and it showed you exactly what you needed to do. So just keep that up. So remember, with the area model, okay, the first thing you're going to do is decompose your numbers. Okay, that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to decompose. Okay, the second thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply the partial products. Okay, once you uh, multiply the partial products, I'm sorry, multiply to get partial products. And then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to add the partial products. Okay, so that's three steps. You decompose, multiply, and add. So let's look right here. 633 decomposed. You have the 600, the 30, and the 3. Because the 6 is in the 100's place, the first 3 is in the 10's place, the second 3 is in the 1's. So 600, 30, 3. Okay, decomposing 43. The 4 is in the 10 spot. The 3 is in the 1's. So now all we have to do is multiply. So 4 times 6 is 24 with 3 zeros. 4 times 3 is 12 with 2 zeros. 4 times 3 is 12 with 1 zero. Okay, 3 times 6 is 18 with 2 zeros. 3 times 3 is 9 with 1 zero. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so now all we have to do is add. I'm sorry, that was my dismissal charm. Okay, so I've lined everything up inside the boxes. So I have 0, 0, 8, 5, 2, okay, 0, 9, 2, 1, 1, 2, 9. Okay, so now all I have to do is add. So 2, 5, 800, 1, 2, 90. One, two, nine. So now we add. Now, why I didn't just do this is because it's very difficult for me, because I'm not a math genius, to add those types of numbers vertically. No, yes, no, horizontally. I have to turn them vertically. So if you need to do that, please do it. I'd rather you take up some extra space than get the problem wrong. Okay, 009 zero, zero, nine is 9. Zero, 092 is 11. That's 10, 11, 12. 5, 6, 7, 2. So the answer is 27,219. Okay, 27,219. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is 861 times 78. 
So remember the very first thing we do is we decompose our number. 861. The 8 is in the hundreds place. The 6 is in the tens place. And the lovely 1 is in the ones place. Then 78. There you go. So now all we have to do is multiply. 7 times 8. Now, believe it or not, 7 times 8 is the m most missed multiplication fact out there. At least that's what I've read. It's 56. So 56, and I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. 7 times 6 is 42 with 1, 2 zeros. And 70 times 1. 8 times 8 is 64. Trying to figure out 64 with two zeros. 8 times 6 is 48 with one zero. 8 times 1 is 8. I like those little bitty ones. Okay, so we're going to add. So we got 0, 0, 4, 12, 6. Plus zero eight six four plus seventy eight. So just line these up. Eight. That's fifteen. That's ten. Eleven. Six. Seven. That. So sixty seven. One hundred fifty eight. All right, so you continue to do the, this the whole way. Now, I'm going to go ahead and help you with the decomp uh, decomposition of the numbers, but then I want you to do these four on your own, okay? So 239 decomposes into 200, 30, and then 9. 67 decomposes into 60 and 7. 517 times 34, 500, 10, and 7, and then 30 and 4. 994. See, when you say it out loud, you're basically already doing it because you have 994. 25. 634, 86. See? All right, so that is your 3 by three by 2 multiplication with area model. Now, this next one, I know that the numbers are small. I know. So if you need to get a clean sheet notebook paper, that is fine. But you need to be able to learn... Because when you get on up in the other grades, whatever space you are given, that's the space that they expect you to write in. So just to give you a heads up. Also, I should have said this in Monday's video, but after looking over a few of the remote work, if I can't read it, guys, I can't grade it. And some of the penmanship that I've seen, it is not good. Okay, it's to the fact to where it looks almost like I don't want to say like a kindergarten or first grade ish. I can't read it. And if I can't read it, I refuse to grade it. And you will get a zero or an incomplete until you redo it. So please do not rush through your work, whether it be math or ELA, because if you rush through it, there's a good chance that you're going to have to do it again. So just take your time and do it right the first time. Okay, so with this, here's what we're going to do. You are only responsible for the odds. So that means you go from 12 problems to 6 problems. So you're only going to do 1, 5, 9, and then the 3 7, 11. 
So you are only doing six. This also tells me who actually watches the videos. It does. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do number one and number three with you. And you're responsible for number five and number seven. Like I said, if you feel the need to put it on a sheet of notebook paper or graph paper, please do so. But please label it at the top what you're doing. So you would label it uh, Tuesday math video. So that's what you would label it if you put it on a clean sheet of notebook paper. And then you'll just put it in with your work when you turn this in. Okay, so remember, when we multiply, we start in our ones place, and we go from there. Okay, so I have 115 times 43. Okay, so 5, 3 times 5 is 15, so I put my 5 here, carry my 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus this 1 up here is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, I'm going to X that 1 out because I'm not going to need it. And get rid of my 3 because I've already used it. So now I'm going to the tens place. So I'm going to put a 0 here. And start with my 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. Okay, 5 times 0, 5 times 0, I'm sorry, 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 and nothing is 4. So, once you get it, you need to circle your answer, just like that, and your answer should be 4,945. If you just follow the steps, know your multiplication facts, it's real easy. And the number one rule for me with multiplications, be neat. Keep everything lined up. Write your numbers so I can read them and you can read them. Because I've written some numbers at times myself and I couldn't go back. When I went back to Adam, I didn't know if it was a 4 or a 9. So make sure that you are writing clearly. Okay, next one I have number three, 256 times 44. Now, one of the good things about when you have repeating numbers like a 44, five, uh, 55, 77, or whatever, once you get the first one done, you just add a zero and you copy that answer down. I'll explain here in a second. Four times six is 24. Carry my two. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1, I'm sorry. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So 4 times 256 is 1,024. Now I'm going to multiply it by the 40. Add a 0, and you're just going to get the same answer. So 4, 2, Zero, 1. Now I add. 4 and 0 is 4. 2 and 4 is 6. 0 and 2, 2. 0, 1 is 1. And another 1. 11,264. All right. Now, you're responsible for doing 5, 7, 9, and 11. <coughs> you are not responsible, and I repeat, you are not responsible for the evens, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You do not have to do the evens. So you are only doing odds. Okay? Now that is your Monday math video. And I'm, no, I'm wrong. This is your Tuesday math notes video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please uh, email me. And when you do, explain what you're having an issue with. So then I could send you either a video explanation or we could just set up a Google Meet. So uh, have a good afternoon and just a few more days till fall break.